So the first thing is we need to define what sort of e-commerce store are we running. Traditional e-commerce is D2C direct to consumer, but we are talking about different price points and different ranges. And in some cases, e-commerce also includes e-commerce for services and in certain categories, software service is uh, included in the mix as well. So it's important to differentiate that, but uh, let's first talk about e-commerce and D2C. When it comes to e-commerce in direct to consumer, we need to figure out what the conversion rate is, what are the different metrics to optimize. First off, we need to know what our audience is and who are we selling to. Based on that, we can figure out whether we're using the right channel and the right medium. In many cases, we need to actually sell through a different you know, look and feel or an embedded app or Instagram Messenger or a chatbot or something else that's not directly connected to our website. In other cases, we may be optimizing for the right look and feel. We've had uh, customers that actually use tablet as a primary device and over 10% of the traffic comes from tablet. And if that's not optimized for then it means that you're automatically losing 10% of your customers. So based on that, there are lots of traditional techniques to improve conversion rate optimization, such as faster loading website, better product descriptions, better bullet points, different SKUs, different variations for the specific product, different bundles in order to make sure that you provide the right type of pricing, all sorts of FOMO, fear of missing out, scarcity, uh, someone just purchased and so forth. There are lots of different strategies to make sure that uh, your conversion rates are up, but you definitely need to iterate. And even if something is uh, kind of a best practice on the market, you want to make sure that you test them one by one and uh, also A-B test and, and ensure that it works for your store in particular.